Get up, get out, get around, and do it, do it! <laughs> well, guys, here I am. I'm at the high school track. really against my better judgment I'm gonna try and put myself through a little bit of a stress test I don't need to jog because of my back because of my hip because of my knees my feet none of that's good and I'm not saying I'm gonna make it even 10 feet but I'm gonna see what I can do I'll explain more through the video as I go. I don't expect much at all. I have an eight this morning and I've only had a cup of French vanilla coffee. And that's it. Let's go. And I'll go at an extremely slow pace. First time wearing these shoes doing really much of anything. These are not running shoes, they're just basic shoes. When I'm going super slow. All right, guys. That's one time around the track. Supposedly the distance is, I assume roughly 0.27 miles. You know, how accurate is everything uh, with Strava? Not always perfectly accurate, but it's what we go by. It's what I use for my cycling. So I'm gonna trust it with this. Now, first thing I noticed was my shins, of course, and my calf muscles. Uh, I, I even noticed that whenever I used to jog all the time in my 20s. Uh, just my shins would instantly start kind of hurting and 
and my calves and, and it would feel really you know uh, like I've done more than what I have really quick and even though my breathing was a little crazy uh, even when I was younger in my 20s and would jog uh, my breathing was always a little bit harder than probably what it should be but I was always able to keep going now I was never a long distance runner uh, the furthest I ever ran was five miles typically I would run around this block here around the high school which is about one and a half 1.6 miles uh, once in a while I would do volunteer drive from one end to the back is three miles um, and of course that's in my 20s <sighs> now I'm not crazy enough to have continued around after this first round I know it's smart to stop and uh, wait a minute well, number one I ride bikes so I'm not used to putting a lot of uh, stress and strain on my body number two you know about my back problems also my right hip where I slid out on my bicycle on a ride back in December of 2016 uh, my right knee is worse than my left knee and it's from all those years of construction and getting down and standing up and jumping and all that stuff and uh, and my ankles and my feet are kind of cruddy I used to sprain, twist, whatever my ankles uh, all the time just standing still I would fall down uh, I mean they've been to the point to where it might as well have been broken uh, and my feet like to cramp up and stuff so hmm. you know uh, what I did was nothing amazing in the grand scheme of things just now but uh, at the same time uh, I'm proud that I even did my slow pace around the track so I really am surprised that I made it even that that uh, one round uh, a slow pace you seen my pace you see the numbers but still I mean it was a little better than a, a normal walk and it was a little better than a fast walk it was at least what I'd consider a jog it was just a slow jog so uh, so that was a five minute test was that five minutes or three I think it was three minutes I don't forgot <laughs> so it was a three minute test basically that I gave myself And I chose to do the track because it's flat and since I'm not a jogger since I have you know the issues that I have and I'm overweight and all that I chose to do the track because it's flat and you know uh, that's better than trying to get on the road and suffer through hills and have to worry about cars and stuff like that right now so and this is nothing I'm gonna do on the regular my back couldn't handle it um, even walking is kind of a it annoys my back and stuff so but that don't mean I can't try it don't mean that you can't try I thought this was gonna be kind of an emotional video I swear to you I thought I was gonna break down but uh, I'm okay I mean I'm glad I made it around the one time <laughs> so anyways guys I might go for another round I think that'd be interesting to see if I can go ahead and start up another uh, go around so I think I'll do that we'll see y'all okay just starting from my second round here I'm gonna see how this one goes What I notice also is even my bad shoulder 
both my shoulders are bad, but my right one's really bad. You know, when you're jogging and you have all that weight coming down on you like that, it even kind of affects your shoulder. It's more of a wearing out feel. It feels like it's just tired, beat. Yeah, my shins are burning. Oh, my shins. It's processing my activity. All right, guys. So, according to Strava, according to Strava, my first go around was of course 0.27 miles pace is supposedly 12 8 a mile and the time took me 3 minutes and 23 seconds my second go around was of course the 0.27 miles an average pace of 10 minutes 53 a mile and moving time was 3 minutes so, I already set a personal best. Not bad, huh? <laughs> That's a... Uh, hey, I'll take it. I'll take whatever I can get. Well, I hope you enjoyed this quick little journey with me and uh of course i can't do this all the time because you know my ailments it, it would have me crippled before you know it 
and these shoes are heavy uh, I don't have any proper running shoes or anything keep in mind I'm fixing to be 49 I'm 265 pounds bad back bad shoulders bad right hip bad knee feet and ankles not great horrible diet but uh hey I'm happy with what I did right we gotta start somewhere Whew. well guys I appreciate you going on this little journey with me I hope that you can do something to better your day to better your life if you're in the same predicament as I am with the being overweight and a bad diet and even ailments and, and that uh, I wish you all the luck and success and just know that success starts uh, the moment that you take the first step uh, it's just a it's a mind game just like working out or riding a bicycle or getting up every day and going to work without calling in all the time it's all it's all in the mind body and soul so guys I love you check out my channel support it I'm a good decent wholesome channel I believe I have tons of videos over 500 like share subscribe comment all that good stuff let's help one another all right get up get out get red do it to it even when you struggle we'll see y'all later hey guys what's going on so I left the school where I did my little jog and I just rode over to the drove over to the park real quick it's only a couple miles uh, down the road so whew, if that so right now I'm just gonna walk around the paved trail the trail that you've seen me riding my bike on a thousand times and I've even walked it a hundred times and so yep this time we're gonna set Strava up for just walking So, go ahead and start her up. So going for a little walk after doing that little jog will help to hopefully lessen some of the pain I'm going to be in. Not just from my back or anything, but from the legs. <laughs> They're not used to doing that. That's eventually going to be our little splash pad here. And over there, of course, is that cemetery you see me ride around in a whole lot. Cemeteries are always nice to ride around in because there's not a lot of traffic and stuff, so they're always nice. Well, I was just fixing to say something's going on over here at the park, but I think I know what it is. I think I've seen it on Facebook. They have a horse here made up to look like a unicorn. <laughs> its hair's dyed pink and it's got a horn on. I think that's what it is. Strange, but cute, I guess.
Yeah, I think that's what it is. Should I go over there and just jump on it and take off? Yeah, mule, yeah! Well, since I'm on my little walk here around the park, let me go ahead and get something off my chest about what people post on social media and them thinking that they're making a difference. I have people on Facebook that are constantly pounding it in people's heads that the news stories and different things that they're posting is the truth and that they're making a change, they're making a difference. They're spreading the truth. What difference are you making in real reality? What are you doing? Those people are online searching for the latest news article that they agree with, and they're preaching it as facts. That's no different than what the other billion, billion of other people are doing on social media. They're picking and choosing the news stories that they want to call facts. That's it. You're not making a difference. You're not changing anything. You're not doing anything. In order to do that, you have to get off social media and do something for the community. You have to get out there. You have to speak up. You have to study. You have to get some sort of knowledge. You need to possibly run for some sort of uh, local office in your area. The change has to come from actually getting up and doing something. You know, get up, get out, get ready, do it to it. Even includes that. Because sitting behind your phone or your laptop or desktop computer preaching about stupid stuff is doing nothing. Uh, so you know like I posted on my Facebook page uh, it takes action it doesn't take keyboard warriors it doesn't take you uh, pounding your message out there as facts and then getting pissed off at people who don't be uh, you know believe what you're saying or you know have their own opinions that's not making a difference it's not making a change you're no different than anyone else waste of time waste of energy get out and do something I'm just gonna I'm just going around this trail one time I just wanted to do something a little bit to get my legs that kind of cool down and uh, kind of work them out and cool them down at the same time by just doing a light walk around the park Guys, don't forget, get up, get out, get around, do it to it. I don't know why. You just should. Get up, get out, get around, and do it to it.